Hi there, my name is Alex Nikoloski. I'm an extractive metallurgy professor at Murdoch University. I teach extractive metallurgy at Murdoch and I also do research and development work on developing technology for processing of minerals and production of high purity metal products. Hydrometallurgy is a specialty branch of extractive metallurgy which deals with processing of minerals in aqueous solutions for the purpose of producing purified uh, metal products or metal compounds. Hydrometallurgy is very relevant and important at the moment because it allows processing of minerals using relatively benign solutions which enable production of high purity metals and metal compounds which are essential for the production of high-tech devices in modern society. Hydrometallurgy is one of the key unit operations or set of unit operations within a production flow sheet for metals. Typically, it follows minerals processing, which involves uh, liberation of the target minerals that contain the metal of interest, followed by leaching, which is selective extraction of the target element using an acidic or alkaline solution, followed by impurity separation, and then purification of that leached liquor before the target elements are recovered to produce the metal or metal compound products which subsequently go to market. In today's world, hydrometallurgy is very effectively applied for the treatment of the main minerals which contains elements such as lithium, copper, vanadium, nickel, cobalt and many others which are all essential critical ingredients in the modern clean energy storage devices. I currently lead several research projects focused on technology development for critical elements. Some of the particularly notable projects involve research on lithium beneficiation and processing, which is research funded by the Future Battery Industry, CRC. Also research on recycling of electronic waste in particular spent lithium-ion batteries and we also do a lot of research on development of vanadium electrolyte for use in vanadium redox flow batteries which is a very attractive solution for large-scale residential or industrial clean energy storage. Murdoch has been developing focused areas of extractive metallurgy including mineral processing hydrometallurgy, pyrometallurgy, electrometallurgy for a very long time. For almost 35 years, Murdoch has been a center of excellence for research and development into developing technology, which enables the production of modern metals of construction and ingredients in high-tech devices. My history at Murdoch University spans over 25 years. I came to Murdoch in 97 and I was a student in the undergraduate mineral science course. At that time, Murdoch was already a very well-reputed institution for teaching and research in extractive metallurgy. After my undergraduate degree, I completed a PhD in extractive metallurgy, and following some time in the industry, I returned to Murdoch and became an academic in the major involving extractive metallurgy, I subsequently became academic chair and I led the discipline for about 10 years before I more recently am mainly involved in leading the research in production of target elements. So with the challenges the world has now with climate change and the desire for us to find alternative energy sources, there's a need to make sure that we can effectively extract the metals from the ores and to ensure that we can recycle the batteries and other components that are out there in the electronic world. The work that Alex Nikoloski does as part of his hydrometal energy group are world leaders in both battery recycling and ensuring that we can extract the metals from the ores. Murdoch University at the moment is in the process of reviving its extractive metallurgy discipline through a dedicated research, development and education centre which will be located in Rockingham in the centre of the Quinana industrial area over the years, the discipline has grown 
with laboratories and offices spread across various buildings in campus. The advantage of Rockingham is that we will bring all of those facilities under a single roof and create critical mass, a very effective center for addressing technology development, which would also be at the doorstep of industry companies operating in the Quinana industrial area and provide easy access to technical solutions, to expertise, consultation with academic staff and ability to monitor and participate in the research effort.